What is going on guys, Looney here, and welcome to a new plugin series, of which I like to call, Minigame Haven. So, in Minigame Haven, we're actually going to be creating many, many, many minigames using the game engine that I created. Game engine allows developers to code minigames at a very fast rate, and it just makes our lives so much easier. There is also another version of this called Network Utilities that Oliver vs Creeper made. Now, I will be advertising mine. Um, although Oliver vs Creeper is better, is because his is still in development and can break. Um, where mine's not really going to be breaking. So if you want to go ahead and use this, you can, but I'm not going to be showing you how to. We're just going to be using Game Engine in this tutorial series. So the current minigame that we're coding is UHC. Um, There's going to be the basics of UHC, and then you guys can tell me what you want as the series progresses. And then we'll go ahead and add that in. But anyway, let's get into this. Now it's either you can download the zip and import it into your project, or you can go ahead and use Maven. Now the Maven repository and dependency will actually be here um, for you to use. Um, and I'm going to be using this bigger dependency from this bigger repo as my alternative to craft bucket. Well, bucket itself basically. So the first thing that we need to do is make our instance of our class. Once we've done that, we can do a private game and then call this game. Uh, you won't be able to import this yet. Um, now we're going to create a public game, get game, which is going to return game. Now we need to go ahead and then create a new Java class called game. Now this class will just extend game engine from the game engine repository. Then it will tell you to implement methods. So you just implement methods. And then it will also tell you to create the constructor matching the super. So basically, um, now you can see that our game is um, no longer an error um, because we imported it as well. So let's make a private game logger and just call this game logger. Game logger just imports from the game engine again. So let's go ahead and create a getter for this as well. So public game logger uh, get logger or get game logger in fact. And then we'll just go ahead and return game logger. Now when we actually register our plugin, which is on our on enable. We would then want to do game logger equals new game logger, and then we want to do game is equal to new game, and then inside of this we'll just put our game logger. Now it also says that we need a raw name, a name, and then the plugin. So the plugin will just equal this, or if we've created an instance, it's better off to keep it the plugin. Now the raw name is the name of the mini game without any formatting so you can't have and six and l or anything it just has to be the name without any formatting and then the formatted one can actually have formatting so this one here is used for any type of checking um, so if you ever want to check which mini games are currently running you would then reference back to the formatted name but then if you want to go ahead and send a message to staff members or something and to stay um, and to say that UHC is saying something or saying that someone's hacking or whatever you're, whatever you've coded or who's won you can use this as some sort of prefix I think I guess uh, in messages and stuff so that is that now inside of our game class um, we don't need to do anything in the constructor if you want to add things into your constructor to do specific things you can go ahead but you may not always need it so get all states is going to return game states so in UHC we would have our lobby game state the game state will just be called in game state or in game game state and then deathmatch game state and then end game game state so we need to go ahead and create a private list and this list will have the object game state and we'll call this game states which is equal to new uh, array list and then we want to go ahead and return game states which is our list up here now the get game players is also a little bit similar so Let's just paste this again, but put this to UUID and import it from java.util. Now let's go ahead and change this to game players. Now the game players are the people that originally played the game. So people that have actually joined the game, for example the first 24 people or however big your UHC size is, you want to store everyone as a game player. And then if they die, you'll put them in as a game spectator. 
Uh, but if they join the game and they spectate, you'll then just go ahead and add them to the game join spectator. So this is just an easier way of tracking who's joined. Now this would be called game spectators, and then this one here will be game joined spectators. Then game players just goes ahead, obviously returns the game player. Game spectators returns game spectator. Also, don't forget that these are actually UIDs. Um, and then game join spectator just returns the game join spectator list. So game max players. This is telling us how many people are actually allowed to join the game. So let's just put 24. And then game min players are the players required to actually allow the game to start. So UHC would be about 12, but just for this purpose, I can't get 12 people on to test every single time. So I'm just going to go ahead and put 2. Get game max join spectators is setting a limit of how many joining spectators are allowed. Uh, so basically, you don't want a thousand people being able to spectate a game if you've got a famous YouTuber on. So you would set this to something like 5 or 10. And then the lobby location, you would just want to go ahead and return lobby location. Or some sort of way to get the lobby location. But up, up here, I'm going to do a private location, call this lobby location which is equal to a new location and I'm just going to go ahead and do bucket.get world world and do 0 0.565 0 0.500 0. the other two zeros at the end of my yawn pitch and that is our game class entirely done uh, so that consists of this tutorial guys I hope you enjoyed it, the next one should be up in a few days and if you have any questions leave them in the conversation below and I hope you see you next time see you guys